Good morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Hope you're having a great day in the Lord. Welcome. This morning, it's Friday, so that means it's Memory Verse Friday. So today, our memory verse is 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And this verse is coming from the dedication of the temple. And uh, the Lord appears to Solomon. And there the Lord says to Solomon, If my people who seek... Oh, I lost it. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, then I will hear them from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Amen. Now I'm going to admit, friends, this is a, this is a longer verse for a memory verse Friday. But here we go. I'm going to read it again. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who call on my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear them from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Whew. I admit, friends, it's a longer memory verse. But listen to this. What I want you to hear in this verse is the then. If then, if my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven. Then I will forgive their sins. Then I will hear their land. Friends, so often we treat God like Santa Claus. So often, we go to God and say, God, the, the, X, Y, and Z, I need it done yesterday. So often, we go to God just expecting God to, to be there at our beck and call when we've been living our lives for ourselves and not for God. Friends, come on now. When it comes to God, God wants to be in that relationship with you. God just doesn't want to hear from you when, when the stuff sit in the fan. God wants to hear from you when you're walking on the beach, when you're running in the woods, when you're playing on the rug with your kids, when you're having a great time and a great date with your spouse. God wants to hear from you. Let us not be ones who only go to God when, when we need a favor, because we all know friends like that. But instead, may we be the ones who are seeking God's face, who are called by God's name, who pray, who humble ourselves before God and turn from our wicked ways. Then we can enter into that true, deep, meaningful relationship with God that we were created for. Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, we give you thanks that you want to be in relationship with us. That you want to sit at the table with us. That when we've fallen into the pit, you want to be there with us. And when we've climbed the highest mountaintop filled with joy, you want to be there with us. And when we're at our daughter's dance recital, and when we're at the little league field, you want to be there too, Lord. Oh, so often, Lord, we, we, we fail to invite you into our lives. And as such, we miss the potential depth of relationship with you. We miss the blessings that you want to pour down. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Have a wonderful day, friends. Peace and God's blessings. Bye for now.